All right, let's move into the King of Swords. The King of Swords is a man or a character who is very powerful. He has a lot of experience. He has done a lot in his life and seen a lot in his life. He is very intelligent and mentally astute. Um, he also has a lot of information and statistics to back up his knowledge and to back up his experience. So he's someone who knows a lot about perhaps law or philosophy. He has a lot of information in order to back up his decisions, in order to back up the things he thinks and his attitudes and belief systems. He is someone who is very much in command and is not afraid to make decisions. He actually reminds me a lot of Commander Adama on Battlestar Galactica, which I've been watching recently, which is freaking fantabulous. If you haven't watched it, you should so do so. And he, he, Commander Adama is very cool under pressure. He's able to make these very difficult decisions with the data that he has, even if it's not complete. And he's able to remain cool and calm and collected during the entire time. Like, it doesn't matter what someone throws at him, he is composed. And that is very much a King of Swords energy. This person is so much a leader. They know their authority and they know they're in the right and they know how to lead and command others and people honor and respect them and they want to follow this person okay this is someone who has a lot of sway in society or whatever society that he is in so this card could mean someone who is like a judge it could mean someone who is an attorney uh, it could mean someone that is the, I was going to say the king of an organization, someone who is a, a upper level manager or like a managing director of a company or the owner of a company, right? They have a lot of influence, command, and sway. They also have the experience to back it up. They know what they're talking about, right? Like they're on it. The other thing I want to mention about this card is the King of Swords doesn't take flack from others. Just like how the Queen of Swords isn't having any of that, neither is the King of Swords. He will not deal with bullshit. Like, he can see that a mile away because he's so knowledgeable. So, he's like, no. Like, he will not deal with stuff like that and nor will he be fooled. So, he's very, very intelligent and to the point. Okay, so let's move into the King of Reversed. The King of Swords reversed is someone who uses their attitudes, beliefs, their mental agility, maybe to hurt others, to slander them. Maybe he makes them feel inadequate. Maybe he's that guy who goes to the party and he tells all these stories about all these obscure things that nobody else there knows about so they can't possibly participate in the conversation and then everybody else feels stupid, right? So he uses his mental capacity to tear down others. People do not want to follow this guy. They think he's an asshole, right? They're like, are you kidding? Did you hear what he said at the party? He went on and on about nuclear physics, cryogenic, whatever. And like, nobody there knows about that. Can you believe what a pompous jerk this guy was? Right, so that's what might come across when this card is reversed. The second thing that can come um, through when this card is reversed is this person might make his decisions based on like his own agenda whereas this person is leading and he's making decisions based on the greater good of all because he's in a commanding position reverse this person is out for himself like he is maybe making up stories or saying things and leaving out some of the truth in order to make circumstances and events go in his favor his favor so he's very very self uh centered and trying to maybe elevate himself or make himself look better or favor his pet cause and he does it to the detriment of the good of all so he is not impartial he is not doing it to help others it is a purely selfish thing so he sees things the way he wants to see them, and then he does things and uses his power to make things come about in a way so that he gets his way and he gets what he wants. And if somebody tries to cut him down or tries to confront him, he has like a very negative reaction to them. So he tears them down, he tries to humiliate them, he uses his, you know, words or his powers in such a way in order to totally discredit the other person. 
So this is someone that, you know, other people don't respect, all right? The other thing this card can represent is someone who is going against their own logic and what they know that they need to do. So it might be very clear, the writing might be on the wall, the statistics and the dot bullet point spreadsheets might be on the wall, but this person just won't acknowledge it, won't see it, won't take it into consideration, and they're being totally like obtuse and it doesn't matter how many people try to tell them, they're like, nope, that's not happening, right? So they're just kind of in denial of the facts, the figures, and what is going on right now. All right, guys, let's move into the pentacles. 